Hello everybody, thank you so much for uh, tuning in to this video. I do apologize that it took me a little bit longer to edit. Uh, I realized partway through the video, and you'll see here shortly, like right after this clip of like the audio um, that I originally was recorded. It was only re originally recorded halfway in one channel. I had to figure out how to put both, or that one audio clip in the left channel into both, and it was a really long, tiring process and very frustrating. It was horrible. Type out getting angry. I was angry. I kind of wanted to flip tables and my computer. I had to, I had to take actually a, a day <laughs> to uh, kind of calm down from it. Not that I needed that long to calm down from it, but I needed to take some time, which was the rest of Saturday. And then Sunday, I was busy all day. And now it's, it's Monday, and I just got done editing it. So uh, thanks for understanding. And again, uh, thanks for tuning in. Yeah. So we're in facing Thursdays. Kind of makes editing a nightmare. All right, let's look this up. Um, oh, advanced audio properties. <gasps> there it is. I think this just opened up a whole new window for me. How does that sound, Phil? Am I talking in both your ears now? <laughs> yes. It's amazing how fast you can find stuff on the internet right now if you just know what to type in. Is it the fir literally the first link I clicked on, Dr. Phil Bob? And it was the second comment on the thread. The first comment was, this is the issue I'm having. Second comment, solution. How rare is that to happen? <laughs> Three, two, one. Base tank Thursday. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My friends. Uh, it's Tizzit here with Tizzit Gaming. Uh, and it's my favorite day of the week. Base tank Thursdays. Best day of the week. Uh, sorry if I sound different or louder, more obnoxious, or whatever. I got a new mic right here. I'm still trying to tweak it a little bit to get it to where exactly where I want it. Booyah, got her. I, I, I don't like a game one-sided one way or the other. Persons to be around, like I'm plural or something. I pity the fool. I really like games that kind of go back and forth that actually challenge you. Sweet. It's Mordekaiser. Something that's been, I've been kind of aware of for a long time is that, like I struggle with this. I've seen other people struggle with this, about getting angry, and to the definition that Google has, just type in angry definition into Google search and it pulls it up, and I just copy and paste it from there. Angry is having a strong feeling of or showing annoyance, displeasure, or hostility semicolon or colon i don't remember which one it is it's the dot with the comma semicolon i think uh full of anger so also known as like getting being angry is being full of anger the first question i have i have a few questions and then i'm gonna answer them uh it's like i'm interviewing myself <laughs> but i think it has some good stuff uh is it okay to get angry absolutely it's 100 percent okay to get angry not everything's gonna go our way Life throws curveballs at us. I'm a planner. Like I like to have things planned out. In those situations where it's curveball after curveball after curveball after curveball, oh my gosh, I am probably one of the meanest persons to be around. Persons to be around? Like I'm plural or something? No. I'm probably one of the worst people to be a person. <laughs> there I go, trying to make myself plural again. Um, I'm probably one of the worst people in the world to be around in that situation when I'm angry and I'm just frustrated at everything but the the problem comes in when you let your anger drive your actions which kind of leads me into the next question how should I act when I get angry it's a saying just shut up in color <laughs> like that's pretty much what you need to do when you get angry and I think that's kind of a necessity for for some of us. I know I struggled with this for a while, and I still do occasionally, very rare and few between uh, few between now. Um, that when I get angry, I just explode on people and say stuff I don't mean to, and then because of what I said, hurt somebody when I didn't really mean what I said. Long term, I meant what I said right there in the moment because anger was blinding me and leading all of my actions and my my words
But then I go back later and be like, I'm so sorry. I'm so, I was so mad at that, and I realized my mistake. Can you uh, can you forgive me? That's a really tough conversation to have. It just is. Um, because the, the friendship that you had with that person is on the line. If they forgive you, fantastic. How do we reconcile? How do we become friends like we were before I may or may not have cussed you out or said something vulgar to you or cut you down in such a way that broke the trust that was between us? Which of those situations also suck when somebody's doing that to you. That kind of leads me into like another statement I wanted to make sure that I said. Um, typically, when people lash out in anger and say something, they will later regret. I mean, I kind of already touched on that, but I wanted to make sure I said that. Um, and that's how a lot of people act when they get angry. Is they, they lash out and then they regret it later and then just completely avoid the person or move away, which is avoiding the person, or... Every time they talk to him, be like, hey, we had a rough time before, and now I'm going to continue to to hurt you or say slanderous things about you or get angry with you or say profanities at you because I need to keep up that facade or that facade of me being mad at you still, and it's your fault that you made me mad at you, which caused me to say those things to you, which isn't how life should happen. Question... I have is uh, when should I get angry whenever your patience runs out like that's just like the logical thing what's the opposite of um, getting angry well it's not really an opposite but it's delaying it is patience having patience I, I can't tell you how many times patience has helped me in situations to deal with somebody that was frustrating me somebody that caused me severe displeasure like I just hated being around them or that they were hostile towards me or I was they made me feel hostile towards them like I really want to punch your face right now or if they're annoying me like whenever you do get angry that's because your patience ran out so that to counter getting angry faster try and work on patience try and see things from the other person's perspective I like doing that, putting myself in their shoes, because you don't know, in in the moment of anger, you don't necessarily know where they're coming from, or what they're trying to say, which is why, well, this is one of my favorite sayings, and I've developed it over a long period of time at first, and I kind of got annoyed with the situation, because this is actually developed from a, a saying in society, communication is the key to every successful relationship. Not just like a romantic relationship, but friendships too. But there's something wrong, fundamentally wrong with that statement. Where's the honesty? Because you could be open, have an open communication, but you could be lying the entire time. So open, honest communication is the key to every successful relationship. When I told that to somebody, they told me, huh, what about love? Where does love come in? Because you have to, in order to truly understand somebody, you have to come from an open, honest, loving uh, perspective. So open, honest, loving communication is a key to every successful relationship. Now, there's people that are stubborn, me included. I am very stubborn when it comes to some stuff. Where... The best way to get your point across, like, there's steps to it. So you start off with the open, honest, loving communication portion of it where you're like, hey, man, this isn't going right. Like, I don't under, uh, this needs to be cleared up between you and I. Before somebody gets, to, or before we get to the angry part and we start hurting each other. The next step. Okay, dude, we talked about this last week. You need to start doing this and talk more, like, take a more direct approach. It may not come across as loving communication in that specific moment in time but down the road if that's what they need to hear or if that's the way they need to hear something in order to get stuff done then that's what needs to happen but don't start there why because then you'll start they'll probably start building up uh resentment towards you and explode one day so that's why you start with the 
hey, uh, I don't understand why this is going on. Can you kind of explain to me why you did this, even though we agreed last week it wasn't a good thing for you to do? And then next week, why aren't you doing that? We agreed. <laughs> that kind of mentality. There's a slow progression for that. Uh, then the next question I have, which is my last question, is what should I do when I get angry when I shouldn't? A saying comes to mind. Stop and smell the roses. And I say that because, like, to stop to smell the roses, you have to take a step back and appreciate something else. And if you take a step back from the situation that made you angry, and hopefully you can do that, and hopefully whoever or the situation that made you angry and everybody involved understands that, and they don't press. I've been in a position where I made somebody mad. Well, they made me mad. We made each other mad. Like, uh, it was a girlfriend. We made each other mad. And I was like, I need like 20 minutes to, to cool off, to wrap my head around what, where I want to go from here. And this is the direction I want to go. But I need to calm down and collect my thoughts. So I don't say something that I shouldn't. Yeah, but I want to know now was the typical response. So she kept pressing me and pressing me and pressing me. And then I just exploded in her face. Not in like a violent kind of way. I just had no filter. Kind of goes back to what I was saying earlier about open, honest, loving communication. Hopefully you can take a step back in order to try and appreciate where they're coming from. And I say appreciate. Uh, um, as in understanding, like you understand where they come from. You understand what caused them to be upset or what caused them to talk to you about the issue that made you upset. And then hopefully try and see it from their perspective. I really hope that all makes sense. And I think I've talked about this before, but I know for a fact I haven't talked about it on a Fist Tank Thursday video. Um, it's a verse that comes from the Old Testament, and these are specifically the wisdom books, which... It's true, they hold a lot of wisdom that holds true from back then and all the way through to today because it's based on human nature. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 29. People with understanding control their anger. A hot temper shows great foolishness. I don't want to be the butt of any um, Mr. T jokes. You know, I pity the fool. Yeah. I don't like the idea of being foolish. It, that's that's one thing that really annoys me is when I'm foolish. And I do something stupid. It's a... Uh, but, uh... Yeah. With uh, that, we're going to try it very hard. And hopefully this is a smoother transition than last week. We're going to try very hard... To not get angry while playing this game when people are making somewhat stupid mistakes. Although, I only lose when I don't have fun. So we're in Facing Thursdays. I'm really excited. It's my favorite day of the week! Um, with my new mic. Hopefully this will help me keep better posture and stuff while I'm sitting in the chair. Um, also, the rules for Facing Thursdays is I have to play Melee Champion if... I can get one. Sometimes there's not. There's uh, two weeks ago I couldn't. I had to play Karma. Karma is really fun, and she can go tank. Um, so she can take all the damage and stuff, but uh, it's not fun at all. I'd rather be melee and just dive in all the time. Um, so rule one is play melee. Rule two is go in whenever I can. Now there's a caveat to that. I can't have my abilities on cooldown, and like if I need health to go in, I'll definitely take the health to go in, or before I go in, just to be able to survive longer, give my team a better chance. Sweet! It's Mordekaiser. The reason I have my face up in the top left corner is because I keep changing where my map is at. When I'm on the left side of the map, I want my map on the left side of the map.
Booyah. Got first blood. What? Got him. Her. Sorry, she's a her. No, I'm dead. Okay, this. I like this a little bit better. No! Dang it. Get me out. Uh oh. No, oh, dang it, I walked into that. I was trying to attack him. Oh well. This is awesome. My team is following up, which hasn't happened every time, but when it does it's actually fun. Um although I don't like how we're destroying them so much right now. I, I, I don't like a game one-sided one way or the other. I really like games that kind of go back and forth that actually challenge you. It, although they do have characters that do nothing but... Uh, Uh-oh. No! Whew. So close. That's it. Oh, that was fun. That was cluster. I love it. <laughs> oh, that was lame. That was utter lame sauce. It's like a double threat. No. Oh, dang. Get him. Get him, Master Yi. Get him. I believe in you. Oh. Get him. Oh, so close. But this dude, Cassidy, I call him Squidward. Look at that face. It looks like a Squidward. Dang, I keep dying from... Oh well. Dude, this Master Yi is pretty good too. Good job, team. Sweet. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna die. Pretty much no matter what. Booyah, got her. Oh, 
Oh, why do I always get hit with that? Like, how did I even get pulled back? I don't understand. And that should be game. GG. Attempting to. Oh, sweet. I got a Susan. Oh shoot, I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, and I got through. Oh, I clicked the map. My bad, team. I think I'm just going to stand back here. Uh. Dr. Pillbob, that I responded away of the readiness. Um, because I've been trying to pay attention to chat a lot more. I have a bad habit of doing that too. Like when stuff's going down, of uh, me putting up a menu or something and buying an item, it's a habit instead of seeing what's going on. Kind of makes editing a nightmare. Yes, and I got stacks for that. How did it hit me? I dodged. Come at me, bro. Are you kidding? I ulted. I slowed and ulted. Ugh. So, Dr. Phil Bob, I have a question for you. Does this mic sound better? I mean, I really hope it hope it does because it really should. Snowfall is always funny. We almost got him before I, he killed me. How did I die? A whole bunch of stuff looks like. Hmm. I'll take a look at it after this game.
Booyah. Good job, team. Lame. He just deals so much damage. If I live that long to get a Bork. Oh, this is probably it right here. No, we may have one other fight in us. Uh, maybe? Maybe one other fight? Maybe not. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah. That's alright, Phil. It happens. Alright, let's look this up. Oh, advanced audio properties. <gasps> there it is. I think this just opened up a whole new window for me. How does that sound, Phil? Am I talking in both your ears now? <laughs> yes. It's amazing how fast you can find stuff on the internet right now if you just know what to type in. Is it at the fir literally the first link I clicked on, Dr. Phil Bob? And it was the second comment on the thread. The first comment was, this is the issue I'm having. Second comment, solution. How rare is that to happen? <laughs> oh, cool. I got Aurelia. I suck with her. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. To see uh, what could be happening with it. Oh, my gosh. I got CC like crazy. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me right now? Ugh. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. Why do I keep falling for that? I'm inting at this point, and I don't like it. I mean, there's four other people on the team. Oh, I mean, oh, they just did it to, like, everybody right there. I hate this game right now. There we go, finally getting some momentum. Oh, I totally missed that. And I really do suck with Aurelia. <laughs> I 
That was actually the real one. Oh, come on. I keep was on cooldown. Oh well. Wow. Good job, team. Oh, that's certainly oh, it's so bad. Uh, let's see. Profile. Match history. Oh, no. We did lose one. Two. Yeah. So we are... Four for six, or four of six. Four out of six. 66.6 6 continuing percent chance of victory. Sweet. And with that, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. And uh, whether it's on YouTube or on Twitch, that's where I'm at right now. Twitch or YouTube, thank you so much for joining in. And I'll catch you next time for either Face Tank Thursdays, which is next week at 6 p.m. Catch you later. Peace out.